and we're back. So in terms of comedy, it seems that the the Maxwell reviews have been the ones that are getting the most attention. They're Maxwell reacts, I guess I should say. So I am here with the Project Wingman review by Maxwell. I have no idea what this game is. But if anything is any indicator that I will love this, the sheer comments I've gotten, as well as people wanting my reactions on this, um, and even then, if it's, it's a game that I, I I don't know about, if it's something that I'm going to love, I'd absolutely want to know about it. And what better way than Maxor, <laughs> I'm being completely honest, I absolutely love everything this man puts out. Uh, in fact, he is uh, he has kickstarted my I Need Ganyu in Genshin thing, uh, but I'm, I'm still running through Dead Space in terms of... Uh, Dead Space Spooktober third annual run over on Twitch, so I have yet to still actually get to Genshin on stream. It is a goal, though. I will be doing that. Uh, links are going to be in the description for Twitch if anyone is interested, as well as if any content you want to see me stream, anything like that. Plug out of the way. Let us get to a Project Wingman review. <laughs> Nuclear Planes. Oh, that's how you know it's going to be good. Defeat the Defeat the Antichrist. Like, I know this may sound forced. I promise it's not. I'm... This is going to be an experience, that's all I can say. I need to dive into this. Let's go. Let's go, Maxor. I'm ready. Project Wingman is a game which encapsulates and... <laughs> the Yoda scream has just gotten so meta. I love it. ...finds the term competitive uh -huh. genocide in a world... That's a new one. Huh. Elaborate. ...where Yellowstone National Park has had enough. <laughs> Humanity is plunged into a post-apocalypse where the laws of war are null and void. <laughs> yeah, Yellowstone would do that, wouldn't it? <laughs> that and Cascadia. The Yellowstone and Cascadia are having, uh, having lunch in 2022, aren't they, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> we play as a mute, possibly autistic psychopath. Help <laughs> someone on the autism spectrum. 100% will own that. Um, Champion that. Uh, I would do that. I, I would 100% in a tense situation, open phone to play game. That that very on brand. I, I s <laughs> God, I'm already loving this. Bent on his mission to fight the Australian Illuminati, featuring such. Why was there a chicken though? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? Mandy is plunged into a post-apocalypse where the laws of oh, war yeah. are null and void. Uh -huh. We play as a mute, possibly uh -huh. autistic psychopath, hell bent on his. Every time I watch that clip, it gets better. With the phone. <laughs> Mission to fight the Australian illu- What? So, so I, I can't, I can't read that. My sister might be able to. I know she took Arabic. I don't know, I don't even know if that's the correct language that this is. I'm very curious what this says though. If anyone can either point me to where this reads or what this reads or can translate it outright. I'm very curious. Uh, the chicken has me uh, very amused. Illuminati featuring such notable uh -huh. species as the land battleship, the battleship uh -huh. battleship, and the battle bus across- the battleship battle it's battleship subtype battle uh, ship oh my god i also like the fucking genshin battle bus beautiful it's a multitude of varied and interesting locations uh -huh. like the apocalyptic wasteland max what the fuck was that you can't just you can't just cut away to this dude on like a hover roomba or whatever the, the fuck that is between the pacific federation oh god damn it i gotta get back hold up multitude of varied and interesting uh -huh. locations like the <laughs> What purpose does that have? I need to know. Apocalyptic wasteland that is Los Angeles. Accurate, actually. Last time I've been there was there, which was arguably a decade ago at this point. Accurate, fair and accurate. I, I can say this because I wholly admit that uh, Idaho, specifically like Boise, is the the fucking asshole of the Northwest. So yeah, I I, I <laughs> I'm not gonna throw jabs when the jabs on where I live and where I'm at, right? Not that I'm in Boise, right? But near enough uh <laughs> when the jabs are there i'm fully aware of the jabs we are yeehaw asshole of the north <laughs> caught in the middle of a conflict uh -huh. between the pacific federation and cascadia our protagonist is <laughs> that's quite the war forced to put aside his fight with jack sparrow in louisiana to conduct <laughs> i don't think i want to find a back jack sparrow in louisiana that is too much chaos for me a second American Revolution and facilitate uh -huh. tax evasion as a me <laughs> tax evasion. I'm getting like every like there's so much already. Just every sentence he's saying is just so like dense. Oh my god, this is amazing. Member of the Sicario Mercenary Group, uh -huh. you're given the tools of destruction you need to fight off the Antichrist. Okay. Because in this universe, the UN does not solve conflict; it starts it and. <laughs> the UN is. Uh <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> that escalates it. So like most problems in uh -huh. the world, we resort instead to base violence as a means of international <laughs> dispute. Bring your... Yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, fuck, we relate to, relate to uh, base violence, don't we? Oh, my God. Jets, your guns, your bombs, uh -huh. and your napalms, because we're going absolute babarusa. Confused? Babarusa. Good. We live in a society where this is... We do live in a society. I say this regularly. We live in a society. It's gonna be a long video, isn't it? It's canonically as expensive as a Mercedes and holds 182 missiles. Nice. So if you want to see a parade of destruction, melodrama, questionable engineering choices, uh -huh. and King Crimson, then let me be your guide King into the wonderful Crimson. world of Project Wingman, humanity's first jet-centric game where California finally explodes. I got a big old just mouth open grin just watching this. This is this is flawless. This 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 is so dense already. And we're just past the intro. Oh my god. You absolute legend, Max, or how do you do this? How do you put out this content? This is beautiful. Now, I know what you're thinking. A jet game, Max? You've gone insane. Uh -huh. Jet games are played by dads that have 12 keyboards and people with actual money. And I have a friend. She has like she fits this description as far as has 12 keyboards and how they play jet games. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a very specific archetype of person. While it may appear to you that I have money, it's only uh -huh. because I spend it very responsibly. You he does spend it responsibly. I, I bet. He doesn't. He does not have Ganyu, remember? He does not have Ganyu, and he never will. He is spending his money responsibly. You will be happy to know that Project Wingman is neither a simulation nor okay. has it dug into my extensive budget. I <laughs> hold up, what is your budgeting, Maxer? Hold up. Simulation nor has it dug into my extensive. <laughs> Twenty-five grand for Genshin, six dollars for Ca Ca California. Is that California noodles or is that candles? I'm very confused because it could be either. He also misspelled Monty. He spells Genshin right though. Mon Montehly Budget Budect. Why was that so funny? Oh, 60. <laughs> 420 on water, 69 on the computer, and 35. On um, Project Wingman, oh my god, this is beautiful. Max, I love your budgeting. Expensive budget. I would describe the game Thumbs as up. more about piloting a slow Gundam than the actual intricacies of real air combat. So, as someone who has played Gundam Evolution at this point, video soon, whenever I can get around to getting the footage I need for it, uh, I'm good for a good Gundam game. I'm ready for a good Gundam game. In fact, uh, I'm very adamant on the fact that if uh, they wanted to release... Uh, the Gundam Dynasty Warriors game, specifically 3, on PC. I would snap that up so fucking fast, it's not even funny. Gotta get my double O. Gotta, gotta Gundam ni Naru, if you will. Oh my god. <laughs> someone someone probably just cringed at that pronunciation. It was meant to be meme and cringe, I, I assure you. Uh, Gundam ni Naru. There, there we go. There's your sound bite. <laughs> Only in Project Wingman can you do the boss fight against the guy with 12 railguns and his force nice. fields. And yes, the force fields do turn into railguns, just like real life. <laughs> Most people think that jet combat is just about circling, and yeah, that's a thing, but... Uh, yes, it's not the whole thing. If, we, if I understand it correctly, there's more to it. Like, the Red Baron actually wrote an entire manual on how to dogfight, uh... Back in World War One, he then broke three of his own rules, which led to his eventual death because he, you know, he got cocky, from my understanding. But like, no, there's more to it than just doing barrel rolls and circles. But the difference is in how it's contextualized and iterated on. The the merchant in this one, the fucking Zelda CDI merchant, is just over the top in this one, and I'm here for this shit. Which is by insane people. One mission you might uh -huh. be firefighting, and the next thing you know, Crimson One appears for the sixth time near the. Who is this crimson one we speak of? I need to know. I need to know who this this myth is. The active volcano. How uh -huh. many flight games do you know include lava damage? And do you want to know the? None. I know like molten bits and shrapnel that can hit you in certain games. As far as actual lava damage. No, that's a valid point. Best part, the game is fully playable in VR. Please don't use oh a my keyboard, God. which allows you to do some goofy shit, like physically exiting your cockpit in the middle of a battle. Okay, it's a little, it's a little windy, but I'm ready. Does anyone else feel light? How have I not heard of this game until this point? Like, this is an instant fucking buy. 
if I can run this shit. I don't think I can is the thing. Uh, I, I don't have a VR headset as well, but oh my god, this is amazing. I didn't know this existed. This this is why I wanted to react to this. Even if I don't know what this shit is, like, reacting to it, not only Maxwell's perspective, his meme perspective as well, but, like, seeing shit like this and being like, huh, might as well give that a try. Right up my alley, 100%. Headed. I will say though that in order to get the real VR experience, you'll have to repeatedly <laughs> rotate your head with the light brick strapped to it. Uh -huh. I lasted four missions on average before the recoiling permanently morphed my. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, where is it? In your plane by physically looking down. Not that you'll be able to by the end. Reviewing the footage, I noticed oh, that fuck, there I went ahead. Hold brick up. strapped to it. I lasted four missions on average before the recoiling permanent... <laughs> your average uh, Gundam Witch of Mercury enjoyer that is actually homophobic. I I'm gonna... There we go. We found it. ...the morphed my spine. You use the radar <laughs> in your plane by physically looking down. Not Which I've heard Witch of Mercury is absolutely fucking phenomenal 100% and I'm here for this shit uh, as a Gundam fan I don't I'm not like a big the hugest of Gundam fans not the largest by any means I have a couple Gunpla that I assemble and I have still a little bit of a backlog and I do enjoy the franchise as a whole despite me seeing very little of it double O being my entrance specifically but <laughs> it's good and that's what's important I think you'll be able to by the end. Reviewing the Ow. footage, I noticed that there were moments in the game where I just died. died. That's not me taking nice. off the headset. I just gave up on life. No game will ever <laughs> Oh my god! So I work, obviously, for my work, right? Sometimes I'll get someone that'll, like, go up to me, and they'll just, just, like, yell at me, and they'll just rattle on for, like, 20 minutes. And, like, if you actually had a camera and you looked at me, I'm just, like, I start looking around, and I start just, like, leaning back, and I'm just, like, and they're still just going on at me. Like, I, only, I just have to go, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh. And this is, they're very rare that it does happen, but these people are generally all riled up by that point like they're ready for a fucking fight and they like you're the you're the person they're gonna tell you all the things they're gonna tell you all the shit that they're gonna do they're gonna tell you how bad they're gonna uh they're gonna slander you right and it's like and you just and obviously whether they mean it or not that's an entirely different issue but you're just sitting there and it's like i can't i can't get away from this situation <laughs> I'm going to give up on life for a little bit. Ob obviously, in the, in the aspect of him just, like, laying down at his desk. Oh, uh, I've had some of those situations I've had to deal with in multiple jobs. It is not fun. Ever make you feel this old, and nothing increases the immersion more than specifically choosing planes with as little visibility as possible for the extra challenge. <laughs> That would be an extra challenge, wouldn't it? I beat the entire game in two painful sessions, but nice. I had never experienced anything like this ever since my house nearly burned down while playing <laughs> VTOL VR. Why does this not? Let me rephrase that. Why is it? Why does this sound like this is believable, Maxor? Why does this sound like this actually happened? What the fuck? So in oh my god, it did happen! What the fuck? In terms of VR, it's a must-have because only in VR can. <laughs> It's spelled because I love this. We man. express the true paralyzing fear of driving. Bazinga. So how do we Accurate. fly our death machine? VR controls, after all, are difficult. Mr. Smart Guy over here thinks uh -huh. he knows how hands work. First of all, he does not know how hands work. He really doesn't. You'll need to get inside your real Project Wingman trademark plane. Turn okay. on the main battery. Whatever this is, turn on the engines button. Is that a Genshin character as a battery? Did I just see that correctly? Was that a Genshin character as a batter? I don't know her name. What? There's layers. Now too fast. Close your canopy. Blast the shitting grip. Display. The, sh I don't <laughs> the shitting grip. <laughs> I've seen a few, a few ticky tacks, a few uh, clock app things. If you were, <laughs> that would be. Someone would own that, and that would make fuck. Oh my god! Oh, I needed that. Thank you, Maxor. I don't know what this does. Boot Windows. Microsoft Pin. Okay. Smash that radar button. Hit subscribe. Uh -huh. Turn okay. off the brakes. Make sure you give the joystick a good jiggle. Now okay. we're not going to use the carrier's catapult. We're just gonna pray. You'll notice okay. I forgot to un. <laughs> She's going to pray. <laughs> that's honestly, as someone who's neurodivergent, that's honestly how. Uh, how I, I learn a lot of games. I'm just going to pray that it works because I'm going to skip the tutorial because I don't want to ever go through the tutorial because the tutorial means effort. I, if that makes sense to anyone else, I mean, I hear this is a very neuro like neurodivergent thing to do. So as a neurodivergent, this is exactly how I, uh, how I play some games. 
unfold the wings, which are now detached from the plane. Wing oh. percent speed, bro. Landing gear. You'll notice controlling an aircraft without wings is hard. That's all right. Bit. The guys on that destroyer don't have family. Now that we're in the air. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine if I crash into them. They didn't have family. It's it's all good. Oh my god, that's horrible. And in the correct game, what am I supposed uh -huh. to do? The answer is remarkably simple. Okay. Missiles. There's a reason you can carry Missiles. several hundred of them. Missiles are fucking everything. Every specialized weapon okay. for all your terrestrial needs are various permutations of a missile. It's a Why is every why does everything you post make sense? Everything. Every specialized weapon for all your terrestrial needs are various permutations of Oh god damn, I'm trying to get the fucking permutation bit of it. Fucking hell. Fucking everything. Every specialized weapon for all your terrestrial needs are very is permutation. Permu there we go. I don't even know where this is used, what formula this is used in, what the fuck? ...tations of a missile. It's uh -huh. actually a problem, because, I mean, I guess you could use unguided bombs. You could. Is it meta? Not necessarily, but you could. And that in itself gives this game a lot of replayability if it does. If you want to miss ace yeah. combat, at least... See, but th that's where you get the challenge runs, like the famous, what is it, uh, the person trying to fucking land... Uh, playing on a GTA 5 like skyscraper or some shit like that. Like, shit like that is why people play games. So then you're gonna get people doing challenge fights, get together in a Discord, and they're just using <laughs> the non track of, like, non uh, target locked bombs you just drop. There. There you go. There's there's your shit post stream. He's had the gall to let me use an unguided laser, but I don't know. What else could you put on a jet? A fucking dolphin? I. So we shit post, but wasn't it like the CIA, like the US CIA in like the 80s or some bullshit like that that tried to weaponize dolphins or some bullshit? Like, the CIA in the 80s sounds like a time. This, this, the fact that like this is meant as a shit post, but then reality comes into play and you're like, oh god damn it. <laughs> I can't. It's too good. I don't want to emulate the Wii. You, all you don't want to emulate the Wii, <laughs> Taco Bell. Don't shit on T-Bell, okay? T-Bell may make you do the shits. Don't shit on T-Bell. That is like prime... As we discussed in the Asmund Gold Steak video, like, like 1 a.m. is like prime steak time. Like 1 a.m., maybe maybe going a little bit into 2. That's prime, like, steak territory. Then you get to, like, 3 a.m., though. You don't really want a steak. You want some T-Bell. You want to go get some T-Bell. You're going to go get your 20-pack of fucking tacos. You're going to have a fucking good time. That, do not shit on the T-Bell. It has its uses. <laughs> also have the option of a gun, which might as well be a laser, and is the most reliable way to kill anything, including nice. entire battleships. What is nice. in the fucking ammo? If normal bullets worked like this, Chicago would be a nuclear wasteland by tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure someone would have an answer for that as far as... Isn't it just mostly... Isn't the bullet itself, like the actual bullet that gets fired, isn't that mostly metal? And then you have the casing around it, and then you have the fi uh, little the pin on the back that the firing pin hits. Hits that, ignites the powder inside, propels the bullet forward. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> head cannon. <laughs> head cannon. In the Project Wingman, uh, the, the bullets, instead of just being solid metal, are actually just small, uh, miniature nuclear warheads. <laughs> not even like the small... Not even like the TAC nuke variety, just like... Like actual like uh, hydrogen territory, like like hydrogen and rank. Because if I remember correctly, hydrogen is actually one of the bigger ones. Anyways, as opposed to the current wasteland that it is now. <laughs> oh, love you, Chicago. Besides that, the controls are exactly what I want out of a jet game, and I don't think uh -huh. they'd be improved. What truly makes a combat encounter in the game isn't the simple controls; it's how they're multiplied by the six pursuing aircraft. The six pursuing. No, that would do it. That would definitely throw a wrench in someone's plans. Unlike Ace Combat 7, your allies have the ability to minorly inconvenience each other. They will do, <laughs> per mission, at least $3 of damage. Uh -huh. So the balance between you annihilating everything and there being an actual battle is pretty good. Although, nice. majorly stacked, your success is... <laughs> majorly stacked. Giga just Giga Cheems versus Tiny Cheems. Uniquely predicated on the fact that you play as the world's first bloodless human who experiences yeah. literally no side effects from the Jupiter Strength G-forces that he regularly can... Yeah, because that is a thing with, like, 
uh, jets and uh, even getting into space and shit like that is like G-forces and everything. Ducks, you use your newfound power to conduct a series of engagements. Okay. 21 engagements. That's Ooh. a lot of potential war crime trials. That's a lot of potential war. Me answering the questions of why I killed those nuns during the Yugoslav War is awful. Which is why we have to win. That being said, anything that we do pales in comparison to the good accomplished by nuking America. <laughs> this... <laughs> This is a video. That's all I can say. We're gonna have to play catch up. Our revolution will take rate. us all across the video game against uh -huh. all manner of foes, including the planes, the big planes, armies of helpless soldiers with families and. <laughs> it's a fucking clay. Of course it's clay. Okay, no shot. Like I keep getting the ads for Genshin. That's like, oh yeah, no, clay's on banner. Roll now or get clay or whatever. Like like prom promoting clay being on roll or whatever. Um. And I'm trying really hard because I want to save for the Ganyu banner. Let's just say that. I want, I want, I want Ganyu. <laughs> the fact that Klee's here just... Klee has been haunting my fucking feed and my ads. It's been glorious. And dogs. And the Federation fleet. Wait, who is that on my screen? Oh, I mean, it's oh, me. Oh, fuck. But what, what really stands out are the boss fights. Uh -huh. Yes, the playing game... So actually on this, like I think like boss fights could work really fucking well in this, or at the very least, if you're going for like a more sci-fi futuristic approach, where like you have like planes like this, maybe even like semi-transforming planes, um, more I guess more akin to Gundam, like a faster uh, paced thing than this, more futuristic. Yeah, absolutely. Boss battles 100% could work and make sense. With boss fights, Shinji, uh -huh. get in the plane. We <laughs> he photoshopped the fucking plane over the Ava. Are you shitting me? Are the boss fights? Yes, the plane game with boss fights, Shinji. Uh huh. Get in. You, it's just, just slap that bitch right on there. Slapped it on the layer above. Made this the background. Uh, no, no, hold up. How did he do this? Uh, probably made it the background. Blurred it out. Put this in the center. Slap that bitch on. Call it good. Oh god, I fucking love it. It's mm, high quality. The plane. We have to fight the angels or some shit. As for their or weaponry, well, it's not physically possible. In order, you fight Crimson Squadron. Uh -huh. Crimson Squadron. French woman. French woman and her Australian. Babe, it's 4 p.m. Time to get in the plane. <laughs> Babe, it's 4 p.m. Time to get in the plane. Crimson Squadron. And Crimson Squadron's uh -huh. very angry nuclear enthusiast. More about him. <laughs> Crimson Squadron's very angry nuclear enthusiast. Oh my god, that's very specific. Later, he's a fucking, he's a guy. Is his plane red and therefore does he move three times faster? I'm just asking now. You can probably tell that it's character and the dialogue that keeps the game alive. I <laughs> Extreme pressure. <laughs> Project Wingman would be an entirely different game if you weren't constantly, constantly hearing, hearing more complaining than a fucking call center. Si <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, through my own personal experiences, friends' personal experiences, acquaintances' personal experiences, experiences on Reddit. That's a lot. That's a lot of complaining. Silence is so rare that when your ally flips his shit and demands people stop fucking talking, everyone is surprised. So just by playing the game, you get a lot of lore. So I think it's Amazing. a good time to talk about that. Our story begins, like many, in Wyoming. <laughs> the Shrek. The Shrek. Thing. So no shot. I was I was watching a fucking episode of uh, of the Blaze, like I do. The uh, the Business Blaze, now known as the uh, the Brain Blaze. But we call it the Business Blaze still, because it's still Business Blaze, even though it's Brain Blaze. Uh, promise it makes sense. <laughs> And it was about the fucking shit post. Uh, 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 what do you what do you call it? Conspiracy theory. That was the word I was looking for. The conspiracy theory that Wyoming doesn't actually exist because one. Uh, have you ever been to Wyoming? Do you know someone from Wyoming, or do you know someone that like has a friend in Wyoming or something like that? And the answer to all of it is like no. And if you answer yes, then you're obviously part of the fucking uh, part of the fucking uh, what do you call it? Conspiracy. Oh my god. I, I love that it was a shit post. Then people take it too far because then they re they're they like, oh no, no, this actually happened. And you're like, I don't know about that. So, uh, hi, Wyoming. Nice to see you. Wyoming, where Yellowstone National Park does a little troll, yeah. causing the tectonic plates to fucking rupture. In yeah. an instant, the entire modern age and Christianity in particular is ended. The you in particular, it said. This, however, created a mysterious, volatile material called cordium, which uh -huh. effectively gave everyone free geothermal energy and also bombs. What him? Free geothermal energy. Hold up. Pause. 
and also bombs. That is very human like, I will have to say. Merged hundreds of years later are the countries of the Pacific, uh -huh. Neo Mongolia, Large Hawaii, Oceania. Large Hawaii? <laughs> Oh my god, what can I say? Except <laughs> you're welcome. You just see a series of explosions. And yeah, and Cascadia. Oceania. Ah, yes. All hail Neo Greater Cascadia. Particular was once invaded by a cabal of mercenaries attempting to establish diamond dogs or some shit. Thank god that we had to. Is that a Metal Gear Solid reference? Skull face there to help us out. In fact. It, it is, right? I, I have not played Metal Gear. <laughs> it's one of those that, like. People look at me funny for not. I have not played Metal Gear in any capacity. I know some of what happens, but like, I, I need I need to play this for the reacts. I have to. Nearly every military engagement since then has been swayed exclusively by methed up mercenaries. As it would, I would like to also cite the going into Star Trek TNG, where we have the what was the post uh, post apocalyptic nuclear horror, or some bullshit like that. <laughs> where you had like Illuminati like juggernauts that did just that. <laughs> Very patternistic. <laughs> Prevent further challenges to their rule. The Federation uh -huh. tightened its power to include all of the death squads, but primarily Cascadia was just mad that other people were allowed to use the limitless supply of energy that they had and yeah. wanted to sell it to everyone else at a ridiculous markup. Yeah, of course, of course we would. And I say we because I mean our, this this would fall into uh, being in. <laughs> In the U.S. Money, 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 money. This sets the scene for a war of independence, which you are caught in the middle of, or rather, insert yourself into for money. Now the uh -huh. thing is, yeah. Cascadia is a real nation that exists in the imagination of insufferable people. <laughs> I, kind of I like that Seattle's the one on here. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So I can attest that the geography of where I live is well suited to guerrilla. Oh, see, 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 Max is there too. Like. Is that Paul Potts? Better not be Paul Pot. Paul Pot makes me sad. Hold up, I entire Cascadian fleet, for instance, is one stolen guerrilla warfare. The entire Cascade. <sighs> it was Paul Pot. I have a very uh, special, just like aversion to S21 and Paul Pot and that whole fucking situation. That is a whole shit show if you go down that rabbit hole in terms of history. Uh, S21 was completely fucking avoidable. Uh, obviously, this is on a more serious note. S S21 and the atrocities committed there was completely fucking avoidable and uh, that's that's one of those like things that you just, I wasn't taught in school and then I figured out and I'm just like, I mean, we, we went over Rwanda, right? We went over Auschwitz. We went over uh, all that, but we kind of conveniently skipped out on S21, which is really fucked up too so that's my own two cents on that that's my own like and like the hollow de as well you know hear about the holocaust not necessarily the hollow de which is also one of those other ones that i've been pretty like guys we should probably not forget these lessons because that's fucked so welcome to, welcome to my kip talk skating fleet for instance is one stolen ship called the eminent domain the nice federation though is not without a contingency plan all across their empire the federation establishes peacekeepers that's the real name elite fighter squadrons of <laughs> Is that clean in the background on the right? Sanity and engagement time. Elite fighter squadrons of questionable sanity and en engagement timing. The peacekeepers are so confident that they arrive late to every single battle that I lost it. That they're in. This directly causes their failure 90% of the time, by the way. The peacekeepers <laughs> we encounter are the Crimson Squadron. One such <laughs> JoJo. Group of elite so dedicated that they risked losing their entire air force, went to a volcanic suicide mission, and nuked millions of people because you owned them. Their squadron. Our volcano. <laughs> <laughs> ...is led by the infamous and powerful Crimson One, who uh -huh. was elected the whitest among all Oregonians. Unfortunately, uh -huh. he... Oregonian. <laughs> He is, uh, he's quite dedicated. Crimson One's idea of protecting his homeland under the banner of the Federation involves nuking it. Yeah. Twice. It's like he's twice. trying to- <laughs> Not even once, twice. Oh my god. Make anime. He's saving it. <laughs> why? Well, uh, now I'm being haunted by Ganyu. God damn it. Hold up. No, no, no. Protecting his home- You brought waifus into this. We're gonna address that. Homeland under the banner of the Federation involves nuking it. Twice. twice. It's like he's trying to make- yeah, because this is the electric chick, right? I have no idea what the fuck her name is. Anime. <laughs> and then we got Bridal Ganyu. Okay. He's saving his people from the pain of living. What bar- the Hold up. As someone who suffers from the, the pain of living, it's I like need to see- to make anime. He's saving his people from the pain of living. Oh, it's just a pain scale. Wrong, Wong Baker faces pain ratings. Y'all know it hurts a little bit. hurts more. Uh, hurts even. 
hurts a lot. It's worst. Why does hurt? It's under my head. Why? Why does? Uh, can I? Kip, we're gonna do this the easy way. There we go. Hurts worst. <laughs> that that got me. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold up. Living. There we what go. barbarism will people slip into if we don't have the common travel passes? He's a blast to fight, unlike it. Uh, a better world, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Some, someone who gets paid six figures can answer this question. His friends. I wouldn't consider fighting his squadron to be the peak of gameplay. The game's bosses <laughs> can be divided into two categories. Uh -huh. Bosses that have rail guns and this shit. You dodge the Crimson Squadron's missiles by rapidly turning as they approach. But Crimson Squadron themselves are always rapidly turning. So Always rapidly turning. There's more turn per turn. Sometimes at a 90 degree angle. Oh my meaning god. There is no nuance. While pursuing them, you are invincible. Here's how you. F <laughs> Thick. Fight Crimson Squadron. Turn towards them. Fire a missile. Miss. Fire a missile. Repeat yes. like, like 10 times. Fire a missile. Did the tar did it hit the target? No. See step one. Fire a missile. Until they die. Oh, and, and you gotta you gotta do this like eight different times for each individual plane. I am progressively losing my mind. My name is Cleveland Brown. All in all, dogfights and lore. You know that's pretty cool, but that's not why you should play the game. Project Wingman is the manic pixie dream girl of vehicle combat. Most uh -huh. battles feature building sized sky ships. That was an entire. It's kind of legit, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm your boss in Ace Combat 7, and the game's just like, well, have two of them fight. Oh, fuck it, you use the lasers. Everything you do. Fuck it, use the lasers. That that sound logic. Has a specific melodramatic reason as part of the wider narrative, and just watching that unfold and how it affects gameplay is the real draw. I see no other way of highlighting how this works than to show. <laughs> the orangutans with the saw. <laughs> There's a commentary here. There, there, there is. Because Project Wingman is a game that you really need to see to believe. Si Start two story help. Side note. note: The pacing of this game's missions are amazing. I liked it uh -huh. so much that I made a graph out of it. Project Wingman pace, lol, crazy missions. So as the missions progress, the crazy goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes up. What the fuck? Printed out the graph and showed nice. it to my neighbors. Excuse me. Excuse me. I feel like Maxor would do this. You legend. You, you absolute fucking unit in the background with the fucking lawnmower. Holy shit. Look at my graph. Our first act begin. <laughs> They're like, what? What does the graph even mean? Ends <laughs> with an insertion into Cascadia. There's uh -huh. money to be made, people to kill, and most mercenaries are still mad about the Australian incident. But it's. <laughs> Man, Gundam took care of the Australian incident real well, didn't they? Dropped a whole fucking colony on that bitch. Obvious that relying on a single mutant love you Australia <laughs> man is bad. So you're forced to watch as Los Angeles is bombed. Oh uh -huh. no, the horror! It's time to revise our strategy, rethink our options. So strategy, engage in chess. Options. Bomb our own energy sources. This way, no one will get them except <laughs> our energy sources. But you're destroying the energy source. Our energy source. Except Crimson One, who sees you doing this and gets mad. This uh -huh. will be a theme. Now it's time to steal a boat. We re steal a boat, sir. You are in a vehicle that can fly. What possible use do you have for a boat? Really need that boat, Mark. It's imperative that you get the boat. By the way, while defending said boat, we make the discovery that cruise missiles in this universe are pigeon guided and ex. <laughs> They're pigeon guided. What the fuck? They have traits of self preservation. Now the war. <laughs> That's a new one. War is really going on. Like, uh -huh. really going on. It's time to target a civilian airport because it, it will help the war. We're denying them potential recruits. They don't even know that they're being. You know, that's, isn't that the definition of one of the war crime things? Targeting civilians. No, she can ignore that. Okay. Being bombed because the Federation has been able to keep the war a secret for the past few weeks. This is <laughs> past few weeks. Awful. Due to the but totally believable considering how fucking modern media works. Great firewall which patriotically jams all. Great <laughs> firewall is just Xi Jinping. God damn it. Oh, it's too good. The Wi-Fi across the entire country. There is only one course of action for me when denied of my YouTube. Okay. Uh, if we are denied of our YouTube, what is your action? Uh, is it to do the dingus walk and then, uh, 
play Genshin? I know because that requires an internet connection. I'm what 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 is it? What is this? What what is your what is your reaction to this? Violence. Of no, fair. Fair, fair and accurate. A lot of violence. Meanwhile, Lots off the of coast violence. of fucking Alaska, the Federation is sending transport aircraft to help in the war effort. These okay. aircraft were intercepted, and then the interception was intercepted. <laughs> interception was intercepted. Holy shit, we are getting fucking levels of inception here. Progressing for nine hours until the entire air force of the two nations are fighting in the uh -huh. same place. Uh -huh. Every aircraft. And, um... <laughs> Every aircraft. There is only aircraft superiority. Wow, it's time to talk about that. Mission 11 is Project Wing. Mission 11 is Project Wing. Why Mission 11 specifically? Man, the planes, the trails, the visual design, every character screaming, screaming into, into my ears at the same time. <laughs> it is beyond perfect. An epic battle, but. This does look really good, I will have to say that. Between two titans swayed only by a single mute psychopath, and that- Single mute psychopath engage in Roblox. Music. This track got me pregnant. I think this is- <laughs> What the fuck? It's a great time to talk about it because the music always fits. Whether it's low yeah. tones for a sneaky insertion or a beautiful symphony rising as you descend into battle. I played this mission uh -huh. without the soundtrack, you know, just to torture myself and I- just a torch. That's a, that's a thing. It's literally required. This game wouldn't be good. Literally required. I, I could see that. Like games like RuneScape, you can arguably play unless you're doing something like hard mode Zuck. You can do without the, the the soundtrack or the music sound even on. Realistically, uh, this would feel like sound would be required for the experience. Without it, and that's a serious testament to the great work that's being done. Also, Crimson One is here, late as usual, and you just beat his ass. Kept. He arrives late, gets beat. In a top secret facility somewhere on the American continent, there is a woman. You have to tr How very astute. I would assume there would be. Track them down. It it's for the war effort. So you raid the woman containment facility off the coast of Yellowstone and she- The fucking what? Boards her fucking good super aircraft with rail guns and the turn radius of a nickel. Woman in <laughs> Turn radius of a nickel. Eliminated. Now, let's go down the list. Attack hold- Woman, <laughs> woman eliminated to-do list. Let's Why, go. For no what? reason. That's on the list. Attack Hawaiians now. What the fuck? Attack people in a forest fire. That is definitely on the list. Attack guys in a forest fire, Lamau. Save civilian lives. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not on the list. <laughs> it's not on the list. It's time to retake Seattle with the Federation huh? in retreat and the war nearly won. With the Air Force in disarray, we're just one step away from... Spooky skeletons, uh, spooky skeletons made it better. If you're surprised by this, you weren't really watching the video. Do no. you remember how I said that the Federation basically nukes all of Cascadia? That isn't actually true. Oh. It's worse. The Federation didn't just want to nuke us to win the war. They activated all of the cordium deposits in the ground. And do you remember when I said those were used for bombs? Uh, yeah, you also they're used for limit uh, limitless energy, too. That's right. These fuckers just started a second apocalypse. <laughs> in other video games, war is... The, ho the horse head is what is what gets me. Hell, but in Project Wingman, war is fucking orange. On our war is fucking orange. Insert your fucking uh, Jeremiah Gottwald fucking Code Geass meme. Our way back, we're assaulted again by the same woman. But at this point, I don't care. My retinas are damaged. <laughs> His retinas have melted. The Fallout New Vegas part of the game has begun, and we're being sent to seize all of the bottle caps that we can hold. Thank you, uh -huh. Joshua Graham. You may notice the game is now very, very orange. That's what the entire... I would assume a uh, lava, lava hell post-apocalyptic hellscape in this capacity would be very orange, actually. I think most of that has to do with sulfur. My rest of the game looks like, and yeah, it hurts. Almost immediately, we're sent back to Seattle to- You're <laughs> sent back to Seattle? <laughs> Some would say that is a fate worse than death. Not me specifically, I haven't been to Seattle. Uh... I've heard memes about it. I heard Seattle's a very strange place. Dab on the hordes of homeless people. This- <laughs> Why do I feel this is a TikTok challenge somewhere? That's awful. This is when Crimson One returns, and this time- Oh shit, he back. He's very mad. He nuked his house to kill you, and that didn't even work. This leads to a dogfight, which is the dogfight for Mission 11 with additional mental illness. It's clear- <laughs> Additional steps. From the dialogue that Crimson One is not used to losing. Let's help him learn. <laughs> That's fucking creepy, dude. Jesus. How, how, That's fucking creepy, dude. How about fucking Snickers? With that, how about Crimson One? You're not yourself without a Snickers bar. Here, have one. Better? Better. 
detour out of the way, it turns out that nukes didn't really help the Federation win. It just made a bunch of guys dress up like the fucking Romans. And with the... <laughs> I feel that this this is the, uh, the natural cause and effect of a situation like this is just people just dress up like that the un on its last legs there is one final stronghold for us to bomb oh. los angeles it's always la everyone just wants to bomb los angeles i don't get it it's not i mean it's meme it's all i got it's meme Fucking finally, we struggle to take the city, fighting foes Looking in the fire. air, on the seas, and attempting to flee my bullets. But after a long and arduous fight, uh -huh. we stand victorious over the city as the music begins to pick up in the back. God fucking damn it, he just does it again. He just does it again. <laughs> Seems to be a theme in this game. Project Wingman's story is not a Homeric epic. It's... Uh... Fact, actually. It's serviceable. It's not very realistic, nor is it reasonable. So when you say realistic, hold up. No, 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 no. I got, I got to see the pictures. Not a Homeric epic. It's not very realistic. Uh, I don't really. I mean, like everything makes sense there. I mean, he's holding it a little weird. Is it the fucking? Is it the fucking GoPro thing up here? Dual wielding, I mean, not out of the question. It looks like a nine mil potentially. Uh, weird hand cannon revolver thing. I mean, looks like it might be a twenty-two. I don't fucking know. I, I realistic. I don't know. I don't get it. It looks weird. That's all I'll give it. Thick. Nor is it reasonable on any level. But standing okay. over the ruins of everyone that I hate, the sun D flashing. Sunny D flashing before his eyes. Before my eyes, I come to the realization. Above all, Project Wingman is fun. None of you know, and sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes all it takes is a game to be fun. That's why I go back to certain titles like Gundam Dynasty Warriors 3. Because it's fun. You get to wander around as Gundam Ninaru. And you get to fucking do shit. It's awesome. Fucking love it. Highly recommend the game if you haven't played it. None of the disparate parts of this schizophrenic game work by themselves. The combat is not Devil May Cry. The lore is not Tolkien. And you say Tolkien, what the fuck was that that you just put themselves. up? The combat is not Devil, Devil May Cry. Cry. The lore is not to Tolkien. Tolkien. <laughs> catch? What the fuck? And we are not going to overcome our pride and prejudice. Still need to read it. I hear it's one of those that you you just have to read. When you make a list, the game doesn't really uh -huh. seem that impressive. But like a chef, what? if we mix our ingredients well, cook at <laughs> thermonuclear temperature, and add enough rat poison, we will create a spicy blend that's so out of this world, so balls to the wall, that it makes everything taste perfect. That was quite the description of how that how that transpired. That was beautiful. The motivation well of done. our final boss makes no fucking sense. His arc is schizophrenia, and his obsession with you is fucking funny. I've kind of is, yeah. <laughs> like just, Crimson One just has this weird vendetta against you. Never seen someone write a character based exclusively off of projection, but standing where I am now, there's no one I'd rather fight. He's the perfectly goofy yeah. antagonist for a game mostly comprised of clown behavior. The yeah. music, the drama, the retinal damage. This fight is bad. The retinal damage, that's the one. As ridiculous as the rest of the game, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Here, Come, Historia, what the fuck? Oh, it's it's shit post up. Latin, I would say. How do you like being new, you son of a bitch? I would like to thank my benevolent weapons manufacturers and defense contractors for funding this channel. And man, Maxwell's got some big fucking uh. This is some big fucking spend. <laughs> Enabling my deadly purchases. If you want to contribute towards the channel and ensure perpetual conflict, you can head to my Patreon. To ensure perpetual conflict. The fact that that's a selling point. That will see results. Learn more. Thank all of you for watching and flying. And of course, your salvation is at hand. It's gonna go on for about another four seconds. Give him, give him that full watch time. That was absolutely fucking phenomenal. That was beautiful. Thank you, everyone who recommended that. That was, 
There was, there was a little bit less to comment on, but that was still fucking flawless. Holy shit. Um, Prez's cut content. We were doing actually funny. Yeah, fair. That makes sense. Uh, unsure pro is basically a giant schizophrenic love letter to Ace Combat. They look beautiful. No, this is awesome. And in fact, should I get a VR headset eventually? Uh, this is something I'm going to be looking at picking up because this is just fantastic. Thank you everyone who recommended this. And thank you Maxor for making such an absolute fucking experience out of this. Um, I'll have to go through the Ace Combat one at some point again. Uh, the fact that this only has two mil views. Um, you know, let's pump, pump, help pump that up. Show this man some support. Absolutely. Uh, it's been my pleasure to react to another one of his videos. And uh, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Later.